Well, while those two are frolicking around in some other dimension, I might go off on an adventure around the world. Blast off! Off I go! Hello, and welcome to Gaming Around the World with me, Darren. Today, let's explore Russia. Ah, oh, Mother Russia, a country so massive it has nine time zones. <laughs> and it's not just a snowy landscape far away at the top of the world where people wear furry hats and dance in a squat either. No, Russia is a hive of game development and a home to some of the most passionate gamers in the world. With a population of over 140 million people, that's a lot of multiplayer matchups. But life isn't easy as a Russian gamer. That's because console games are super expensive over there. The average game in the capital of Moscow costs 2,700 rubles, which is almost a full week's wage for many Russians. This has turned millions of gamers in Russia to piracy. <laughs> the video game black market is big business, with pirates illegally getting their hands on console games long before retail shops. But despite all this cybercrime, developers can still make money in Russia, thanks to the phenomenon of free-to-play PC gaming. The online game World of Tanks has managed to reach 40 million registered users in Russia. That's almost double the number of people in all of Australia. Ooh. Back in the days of the Soviet Union, Russia even once had its own unique arcade games, which were manufactured in secret military factories. These old machines are now celebrated for all time in the Museum of Soviet Arcade Machines in Moscow. One of Russia's first ever computer programs was the Kaiser Chess Program, which became the first world computer chess champion in 1974. But Russia's most obvious gaming achievement is the creation of one of history's greatest games, Tetris. Tetris is a puzzle game in which all you have to do is rotate and fit those varying shaped tetrominoes. But with its infinite levels of faster falling blocks, once you start, it's hard to stop. Russia has also been an inspiration for many a game developer. One of the greatest fighting game characters ever, the mighty Zangief from Street Fighter, is a red-blooded Russian wrestler. Zangief is the best! <clears throat> the Il-2 Sturmovik is not just a sturdy Soviet fighter plane, but a superb PC flight simulator. And the Avengers Black Widow is a Russian super spy you don't want cross. Russia the country to send the first human to outer space in 1961, and a nation that still stuns the world with its games. 